Hey everyone, this is Owen Fox, life coach, health and relationship coach from ownfox.org and today I want to share with you some health tips. I hope you're really really well today and the health tips I want to share with you today that I've learned throughout the years are the best things in life are free and that comes that's such as like having loving human relationships, fulfilling service and work for the world. These are all related to health. Um, physical health too and emotional and mental health and fulfillment and happiness so it goes beyond simple like mere diet and lifestyle practices but it also extends into other more subtle areas of of our life and that permeate into our physical body and our physical cells so b being a qual being doing something good for the planet getting out there into society doing your thing is so incredibly important so many people in this world are listening to what other people are telling them to do and telling them not to do they're listening to other people tell them how to live their life so in this segment i wish to suggest to you to do your thing what are you doing that's making you unhappy in life what are you not doing that you've been wanting to do for years that you could be doing that would enrich your soul and make you burst with happiness and joy and feel alive and feel fulfilled and of service to the community and to the world. So what's your passion? What are your gifts? What is your joy and creative gifts and passions? And your hobbies and how can you bring these into the community and into the workplace to help enrich other people's lives as well as your own and your families? So that's number one tip, okay? Go beyond the mere physical. The second tip is the, what causes sickness, sadness, depression and ill health is two words, it's, called, it's three words, okay? Disconnection, blockage and stagnation. So when we have, when we're disconnected from ourselves, when we're, that causes sickness and un unhealth, when we're disconnected from our body, we don't listen to we get we do things to the extreme and things that are bad for us and we don't listen to our warning signals to protect us and to nurture us to tell us what's healthy and good for us so when we're disconnected from our truth what we find true for us not what society and the media or our families or parents are telling us what to do when we're disconnected from our truth we suffer in so many ways we get depressed when we're disconnected from our society and other human beings in the form of physical touch and finding meaning in life to, to enrich and nurture the quality of other people's lives. We suffer and we feel alone and isolated, lonely, sad and depressed even. When we, we don't get hugs, human touch, affection and express love or receive all of these things, of course we feel sad and alone and depressed. When we are disconnected from our natural environment, the air, wearing too much clothes all the time, the sunshine, wearing too much clothes all the time, disconnected from the earth, wearing shoes all of the time, how amazing does it feel when you walk on the beach barefoot and you feel so relaxed? Books have been written and studies have shown that 20 minutes barefoot just putting your feet onto the lawn or the soil is extremely stress relieving and anti-inflammatory for painful giant inflammatory conditions. So connect to all of these natural factors and this ties back to what I said originally the best things in life are free having a loving community and family being of service touching the nature the air the sun the earth and the water swimming in the sea or even swimming in the swimming pool which isn't properly natural but swimming in the sea or a river how amazing is that I've been swimming in a river naked lately and it's been the best thing in the world I remember swimming in the Bali Ocean naked for the first time ever swimming in a body of water naked. It was one of the best experiences of my entire life, a holy spiritual experience. I felt in the bosom of Mother Nature. When we are disconnected from their truth, we feel depressed. So for example, if we believe lies, the story in our mind, all of these spiritual teachings talking about this, then we f if we think people are out to get us, there's no hope, we can't do anything, we can't achieve this, I'm not worthy, I don't deserve it we will suffer so connecting to the truth and our truth to the natural environment to other human beings will bring health and connecting to natural food and unblocking our chakras our mind and our heart will bring us joy happiness fulfillment and connection and relieve ill health eating natural food okay everyone thank you so much for watching i wish you a brilliant day love, lots of love owen from ownfox.org and i hope you have a beautiful day thanks for listening bye everybody have a great day